Howdy everybody, got the last day of diving over here in the Bahamas. I think I was in the water all of 60 seconds before I saw the first massive shark of the day. Continuing on, I peeped under this little ledge here to see if there was anything cool hiding. Ended up finding an adorable little hogfish. Now throughout the day, I realized that my body was actually quite fed up with me putting it through four days worth of deep diving, so my legs were sore, my lungs were sore, everything kind of hurt. Tried to do a warm-up dive here in 40 foot of water to grab this conch shell, but I couldn't even make it to the bottom, just wasn't very comfortable. Now a sane person would have just realized, hey, if I can't dive to 40 foot, I probably can't dive to 70, let's turn around. However, I was not thinking that good today. Ended up swimming out deeper, found two more massive lemon sharks. After a visit from those guys continued out to my spot. This was probably about 65 foot of water, halfway down when I started this. See a nice Nassau grouper up in the top right. Now I make it about this far and I just feel this massive pressure on my chest. I just don't feel comfortable down there so I swim back up. Now I try again, thinking this dive will somehow be different. Spoilers, it wasn't any different. Swimming down, had to clear my ears real hard. End up making it to the bottom, have a massive pressure on my chest, and my mask also filled up with water as I moved my head too quick. Right here when I looked up, pulled the mask off my mm. face, and I was looking at a kaleidoscope of a Gruber. I didn't have the time or the energy to clear my mask, so I just ditched the dive, came back up. Believe it or not, I actually tried a third time after this to swim down to 70 foot. On the way down, I don't notice my slip tip fell off, but I keep going. I decided to cheat a little and end up on top of the rock so I don't have to swim an extra 5 foot. Feeling a little more comfortable here, everything still hurts though, and realize I don't have the time or patience to put the tip back on, so just come back up, decide to head in for the day. About the time I start swimming in, this guy came in, he just wanted a hug. I kindly declined, because I'm not a big fan of big sharks when I'm alone. Kept swimming in, looking behind me, as usually if a shark makes a second pass on you, it thinks you're food, however we parted our ways here. On the way back in, I found this little lobster hole with two good sized lobsters hiding in it. I'll probably never find this spot again, however, so these guys get to live in peace. This was really good today for how rough it was. It was like two foot seas, but there's still 60 foot of visibility. Last thing I found on the way back in was this nice little reef area. Once again, I'm too tired to even swim 15 foot, so I land on top of a rock. Look around, see if anything cool comes in.
get a peek at an adorable little hogfish that comes in to say hi. Rather short dive for today, swam two miles for nothing, came back with no food, thankfully I had plenty of fish from the previous days. If you like the content, please consider liking and subscribing, it really helps me out, keeping me motivated to keep posting out videos.